Welcome to Catholic News World. Welcome to Catholic News World. Please subscribe to our channel. My name is Steph. Here are this week's breaking news headlines. A group of Catholic nuns, originally from Brazil, living in Nicaragua, called the Institute of the Poor of Jesus Christ, were temporarily abducted by the government then expelled. The sisters are now safe in El Salvador. Lawyer, Martha Patricia Molina, wrote on Twitter, the Sandinista police entered as criminals at midnight, yesterday, at the house of the Sisters of the Poor Fraternity of Jesus Christ, they were going to leave the country soon. They were taken to an unknown destination. We don't know anything about them. I hope you respect their life and them. The sisters later released an official statement, saying, we want through this statement to express our gratitude for the seven years of mission in the lands of Nicaragua. We appreciate the welcome of the church and the people during that time that our charism remained in the country serving the poor in their multiple faces. As our sources cite, before offering you anything else, we offer you ourselves first, we offer Christ in us. With this we want to thank all the consecrated women, lay people, young people, benefactors and friends who built the mission with us making it possible to bring Christ to the poor, with these sentiments we inform that our sisters are already safe in El Salvador. God bless you all. According to their website, the Institute is a Catholic fraternity, began in Brazil, in 2001, and the sisters came to Nicaragua in 2016. This is one of many religious groups to be expelled by the government of Nicaragua, during the ongoing Catholic persecution of the last few years. In a related note, the Inter-American Court ordered Nicaragua to release Bishop Rolando José Álvarez Lagos immediately. The court found that, with the arrest of Monsignor Álvarez Lagos, a number of risk factors are set up that impose the adoption of provisional measures, as he is in a situation of gravity of irreparable damage to his life, health and personal integrity. The Inter-American Court of Human Rights has notified that today to the state of Nicaragua the resolution of provisional measures adopted in favor of Monsignor Rolando José Álvarez Lagos, Bishop of Matagalpa, in which he ordered his release. Immediately. Bishop Álvarez, taken by police in August 2022, was arrested and later sentenced to 26 years in prison by the Nicaragua government. In the last five years, the Catholic Church in Nicaragua has suffered more than 190 attacks and desecrations, including a fire in the Managua Cathedral, the expulsion of Mother Teresa's missionaries of charity, the exile and stripping of the citizenship of more than 222 former political prisoners, priests, bishops, and seminarians included, and the banning of traditional public processions. A burglary and vandalism at ancient Catholic Church in Germany, led to over $40,000 in damages. Police report from Rudesheim im Rhein, Germany, a burglary and vandalism at the Church of St. James, Jakobus. In the night from Saturday to Sunday, July 2, between 7.30 p.m. and 6.45 a.m., there was a burglary with massive damage to property in the church. The unknown perpetrator or perpetrators first tried to get inside the church through an antique stained glass window by severely damaging it. When this didn't work, they levered open a door at the back of the church and got into the rooms on the first floor. There they ransacked the altar area and then went to the gallery, where they damaged the organ of the church. No stolen property is known at this time. The material damage is estimated at approximately 38,500 euros. Witnesses who notice something during the night that could have something to do with the burglary are asked to contact the police in Rudesheim. The oldest part of this parish church is the Tower Chapel from around the 10th century and the main church was built around 1400. The Latin Patriarchate of Jerusalem, Pirbatus to Pizzaballa, has issued a statement condemning the Israeli military operation in Janine, at a West Palestinian refugee camp. It killed 12 people, injured 100, and also caused damage to the local parish. Patriarch Pizzaballa also calls for an immediate ceasefire in the pursuit of peace and dialogue to prevent further future unjustified attacks against the population. This military operation, was in retaliation after a Hamas activist injured at least seven people after a car ramming and stabbing in Tel Aviv. The man was later killed by a civilian. In Texas, Tarrant County Judge Don Cosby, 
ruled on June 30, that his civil court does not have jurisdiction in the case of two nuns, from the Carmelite Monastery in Arlington, who sued Bishop Michael Olson of Fort Worth. The defense team for Bishop Olson argued that that the case was a church matter and requested a plea to the jurisdiction to have it dismissed from civil court. The Arlington Police Department, also released its decision to end an investigation into allegations of criminal offenses made by both the bishop and the nuns. Reverend Mother Teresa Agnes Gerlach, age 43, and Sister Frances Teresa of the Monastery of the Most Holy Trinity in Arlington brought a $1 million lawsuit against Bishop Olson of Fort Worth Diocese. The nuns' lawsuit said that Olson overstepped his authority and invaded their privacy by confiscating a cell phone and other electronic devices, which he did as part of his investigation into whether she broke her vow of chastity, with a priest from another diocese. The bishop, made allegations of the use of illegal drugs and abuse of prescription medicine by Mother Gerlach, who suffers from a chronic medical condition, that has kept her in a wheelchair and on a feeding tube with a catheter. The judge heard testimony, including a 40-minute audio recording of Olson's meeting with the former prioress from April. In the recording she reveals that she had a relationship priest, who was identified as a priest with Transalpine Redemptorists community near Billings, Montana. The priest was later identified by the Diocese of Raleigh as Father Philip Johnson, in North Carolina. After considering the plea, the evidence admitted at the hearing on the plea, arguments of counsel and applicable law, the court is of the opinion that the plea should be and is hereby granted in its entirety, Cosby ruled and dismissed the lawsuit. We are grateful for Judge Cosby's ruling today and dismissing the nun's lawsuit. The decision vindicates our steadfast belief that this is a private church matter that does not belong in the courts, Olson said in a statement. This matter will continue to proceed through an established canonical process. Matthew Bobo, the attorney for the nuns, argued that the judge had jurisdiction in the matter due to personal property rights and other civil matters. We are shocked, extremely disappointed and respectfully disagree with Judge Cosby's decision, the nuns' lawyer said in a statement. We look forward to an appellate court reversing this decision. Watch your program every Friday at 7:30 p.m. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Catholic News World Channel. God bless. Please subscribe to Catholic News World's YouTube channel. Thanks and God bless.